Hi, I'm the Barbecue Butcher. In today's video, we will be making duck sausages. So just a shout out to my friends at Quacker Duck New Zealand for giving us some awesome duck legs, breasts, and their whole ducks that they do. And I've been boning them all out and turning them into a uh, sausage mix. So what I have here is uh, minced up duck breast, duck legs, and the other bits and pieces that would boneless product. And all I did with my sausage range is I just put natural salt, pepper, and panko breadcrumbs. The reason I put the a little bit of breadcrumbs or the panko mix in is just binds it together and it just sticks it together a little bit better. I don't like using all the pre-made sausage mix packs that you can get. Make it yourself. Uh, and all the instructions of what went in it will be in the, in the link of the video. So that's enough of me yabbering on. Let's get on and show you how to tie some of these cool duck sausages. So what I've got here is just a really basic, very just not, not expensive at all home sausage making uh, presser, presser. It holds five kilos. So five kilos is a lot of sausages once you've tied it. Trust me, you, you'll think, wow. But you can go all the way down to one kilo, two kilos. You can make whatever size you want to make and make different batches and different flavors so you get to try and uh, make different flavors up for yourself so anyway we'll start this going out and then we'll show you how i link everybody links differently um that that's for sure i've, I've seen so many guys link different ways so just slowly Just go it out, and then you're just slowly evening out um, the the diameter and the length of that you're wanting, and just keep on going. Really easy. So, and we'll just tie these off at the end. You can use this same. For any other poultry, I just like, people sometimes add chicken to it to make it a little bit cheaper. Or if you've got wild wild duck breasts that you want to use if you've been duck shooting. Uh, remember to do the legs as well. People always just leave the legs behind and, and don't really use much of them. And the legs are really good. A lot of meat off them. It's actually quite easy to bone them out. So we've got another video on how to bone out a duck. So make sure you have a look at that. And the, and the ducks, again, are from our friends at Quacker Duck New Zealand. Uh, make awesome New Zealand ducks in a place called Cambridge. Alrighty. So that's long enough at the moment. We'll leave it there, hold it. Still going. And then we can sort of just show you how, how to tie it off. Because this is the main thing of making sausages, is, is tying them off. That's the hard part. And learning that so again you got to tie off the other end otherwise you can work that part out yourself what happens if you don't so get them all on a big length like that and what you got here you got it tied off and just work out how big you want your sausage so if you think that size clip it once and then you're gonna measure that out three times okay so that's see how I'm doing that and we're going to tie that one. So then we're going to squash, squash, and tie like that. And then we're going to force through here the other sausages. And that should be the same size. And then squash, clamp it, whatever you want to, then through, through the little hole, and around. And then see, that's the same size again. Again, this hand automatically goes squash, clamps it, twist. Through the hole again. Stop, squish, squish. You just, just do it gentle, you don't need to do rough. You, you'll understand when you're, when you're doing these, so then you've got it again. Squish, twist, and smaller you make them, it makes it a lot harder. See, started there. I'm just showing you different sizes. 
but we'll go back to if you go that size it's a lot easier than making small chipolata sausages they are a lot harder to tie by hand uh, a lot of the sausages you'd, you'd get in the, your supermarket in your shops aren't really tied by hand anymore they're tied by machine so that's why they look so different and perfect so there we go back to the bigger one twist turn go through and squash squash there so then see that forms that gap there then you're going down and that's locking all that meat off so that's what makes an individual sausage go again twist turn and again as i said at the beginning these are just straight duck meat and uh, salt pepper and the panko mix to hold it together so that's a whole reel of them done and then you just put them you'd, like, you'd put them in your fridge or if you've got a beer fridge you could hang them up like that with a hook so then it sets overnight and then they will become all the meat will become all set in them if you eat them straight away they're still a little bit, a little bit runny or they haven't taken their bind yet so just leave it like that so that's that's how to make that and then other people have asked me what do you do with your leftover sausage mix that is left in the sausage machine if when you've finished pressing all your sausages out so what i've told people is what i do actually you could there's three things you can use it for you can use it for a stuffing mix so uh sausage meat makes a cool stuffing mix you just put it in a ball i'll just show you what i mean Remember the good old trick I taught you ages ago is wet your hands. Things doesn't meat doesn't stick to your wet hands. So you can make a ball like that for your sausage, for your stuffing. Okay, so you just mix it up and then you could put that inside a duck if you wanted to, or even in a chicken. But what I do with mine leftovers, I get a little handful, get a little bit more water. I make a ball and I make burger patties out of them. You've seen me do this before. I do it with all my offcuts because one, my, my son, my family loves them. And this is just a good way of getting rid of what's left in that. Or if you just wanted to make a cool f flavor of a s burger patty without making the sausage, you can just, this is what you can use it for. So you just carry on doing these. Um, just heaps of different flavors, but the duck ones, are pretty special so there, there you go so that's pretty much Lee how you make a duck sausage it's very basic it's not as scary as some of you out there would think it would be uh, and some different ideas of what to do with your off your your overflow from your sausage machine and uh, yeah that's about it and again big thanks to uh, my friends at Quacker Duck New Zealand for their awesome duck hope you like my video and remember to like and subscribe